Hey, and welcome to the first video in the series. And this is covering one of my favorite tutorials that I've written to date, which is how to generate a QR code with Go. I have no particular reasons other than really, I love working with Go and QR codes are fun. Um, if you're not familiar with them, they're these things here. And they're also these kind of slightly more impressive ones. They're impressive if you like branding and you like them to look a little bit kind of more maybe professional. Anyway, uh, what the tutorial does is as the name hopefully implies properly is let you generate a QR code using Go. Now we're not going to see any Go code, any code at all in this video. We're just going to step through the actual application. But I made the, I'd like to think I made the tutorial sophisticated enough such that one, you can generate a plain QR code like this, which you could scan with your phone or your tablet and open up a URL. Or if you're kind of fancier, you had a particular app, you could probably get the user to pay for something, take a survey or do something more sophisticated than just go to a URL. And secondly, you can generate a QR code, but one that has an image that's overlaid probably in the middle and not too big such that it obscures too much of the QR codes data so that the QR code doesn't work anymore. Um, if you want to dive deeper, naturally have a look into the tutorial, but for right now, let's pop over to Postman and let's get going. The first thing we're going to do nice and handy. The URL was already there for me because the application is listening on port 8080 on localhost and it only has one round, which is slash generate. Now, first thing I need to do is go to the body tab and go to form data. And under that, add the first, second and third parameters. The first is size, if I could spell correctly, which sets the width and the height of the QR codes. So I'm going to actually say 500 um, pixels wide and high. Then we'll set the second one, which is content. And that sets the content that will be embedded into the QR code. So a shameless plug, I'm just going to add my own website, which is again, if I could spell it, com, we'll just widen that column. So it's a bit easier to read. And then that is enough for us to generate the first of the two QR codes, the simple one, press send. And we have a 500 by 500 pixel QR code. If I change that to, let's say 256 smaller, if let's do 1024 and see if it goes right off the screen. Sure enough, it does, right? But there's not much to it. So it just lets you specify how wide and high it is. So I guess you can customize it based on where you actually want to put it. Say if you want to put it on a poster or on a website uh, or on a sticker. So let's put that back because that's a bit big. Okay, that's a bit more reasonable. And now we'll add in the third parameter, which is watermark, which I kind of, I called it watermark because I kind of saw putting an image over something as watermarking it. I guess you could call it branding. You call it really what you want, but that made most sense to me at the time. Now, what we're going to do is, oh, we're going to move out and come back in. And you notice how I mouse over here. That lets me change it from, or sorry, the body from text to a file. So then that lets me then select a file. So I'm going to pick one that I prepared earlier. <laughs> this was a Twilio tutorial. So I figure it makes sense. I'll use the Twilio logo to brand it. Uh, and that's all you need to do. When the request goes through, the image will be uploaded and then taken and placed over the generated code. So let's do that. And then you can see it nicely generated in the middle. Now, one thing worth bearing in mind in this tutorial, and when you're making QR codes with the app is that the watermark logo. So whatever you have is reduced to, I think a quarter of the size of the QR code that's generated. So the QR code gets generated first, and then the image gets resized accordingly and then centered over the QR code. So if your image um, is kind of not proportional 
to the QR code, it may come out pixelated, but otherwise for the purposes of a simple example, that's it, that's how it works. There's not much to it. Um, I guess I could have specified other options such as color. So instead of black and white, it could have been, uh, what would you say over here? Could have been red, yellow, blue, purple. Uh, I guess we could have put a whole lot of other options in, but I thought that was enough for, for this tutorial sort of such that we didn't go overboard. Anyway, as always, if you want to know more, check out the tutorial, which you can find at twilio.com slash blog slash generate QR code with go. I'll have a link in the description for this video. Otherwise, it'd be awesome if you like this video or any of those in this series, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, as people say at times for good vibes, uh, turn on the bell notification icon, and I'll see you in the next one.